Oh. Oh, sige na, sulti na. Oh. Hi, welcome to <laughs> Pano in the Philippines. Well, for once I'm not being forced to eat something. These are pancakes that Nana made for us and very kindly brought up. So we're sitting in the mess at the end of the day's work. Cup of coffee. Yeah, it's been raining. It's been raining for I think an hour, right? Hmm. It's been raining an hour, which is really heavy. And then we're still under quarantine, so we didn't go out for how many after that incident in the Chipo and right? So we didn't go out. So whatever, just guess. Sometimes we just been what you call it cabin fever. Wanted to go out, but it's good. Sometimes just to relax, like I sleep, right? Well, we've just been we've just been uh, reading. So Beth tells me I haven't seen it myself, but the incident where that high-profile incident of a foreigner, an overweight foreigner, um, who decided that he was going to get very self-righteous with uh, with the police, were they police or barangay police, Beth? Which which? Police, police, and barangay police. Police, okay. So they came around, uh, in case you haven't seen it, uh, most people have now, I think. And, uh, and what could have been a very simple thing, the, the barangay police came around because someone uh, had reported that a maid who was in the yard, working in the yard, pulling weeds or something, wasn't wearing a mask. Okay. Uh, you can quarrel with it as much as you like, but if, if the rule is that you're supposed to be wearing a mask when you're outside, well, uh, it's not, that's not the place, and that's not your coffee. <laughs> she's dipping in my, she's dunking in my coffee. It's not the place, it's, it's not your place as an expat to, as a foreigner, to argue with the police. And, and apparently, because of that, it was such a high-profile thing, they're talking about deporting the guy. Uh, see how something can grow out of nothing, and then everybody starts to get their back up, the blood comes up, and nobody's really talking to anybody anymore. Uh, in, the past, in the past, I've come in for a lot of criticism myself, because I don't... I don't enjoy listening to foreigners who are complaining about the Philippines. You know, it's really simple. Um, if I went somewhere and I didn't like it, I wouldn't go there again. And yet, here they are, and because of various reasons that they have, they're forced to stay. I'm assuming that they are forced to stay, either economically or because they have a marriage. Um, and perhaps children even. Well, if you, if you, sorry, I'm protecting my coffee here. <laughs> if you're not happy here, don't, you know, don't criticize the people who have extended the hospitality of your home to you. And I, I actually avoid talking to foreigners who I actually don't know unless I see some indication that they're that they're okay because the the usual rule is that they'll start complaining yeah. and I just get tired of listening to people gripe about a country that has given them a home. You're very far now from the from the. Disney. I know that I'm very far. I think, from, I think in these difficult times... It's just from more, this. We're very far from talking about this. Okay. I think in these difficult times of quarantine, I think we just need to be more patient, right? And understand that we are in the crisis and everybody needs to follow the rules and regulations in order to resolve this biggest problem that everybody is facing off, right? In other words, don't be like I've just been describing. You know, because I think she it's just... She just did it in a little more diplomatic way. Because it's just... A, I think I saw that video. I'm not really uh, watch it all, but it's just about just a little thing. And then because of impatience, it was big, bigger, you know. So that's why 
we know in these difficult times, some everybody else wants to go out, wants to go back onto our normal life. You know, on the daily basis that we wanted to do our routine, go out, go go there, go everywhere. But then it's a time that everybody's experiencing that we need to understand and take, uh, have an ex long patience to everybody in our in our community in in the Philippines. What is that? In what they call that? In the whole nation, in you the know, whole, because the whole, nation. the whole world is affecting on this pandemic. So again, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much. You, oh, you need to eat. She's, oh, she's gonna force me to do this now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, because my title on this should be you for a Filipino wife forced to eat pancakes. So you need, we need to be, we need to validate it that I push you. Come, just I'm open gonna, your I'm mouth. I'm gonna stick that up your nose in a minute. Can you not? Uh, did you wash your hands? <laughs> yes, yeah, so stay safe everyone. Have a good day and God bless. Bye bye.